Hi guys, Alexio here, Team Shady Graveler, and today we're going to chop it up a bit differently. As you can see, I'm not in my normal uh, garden setting. Uh, I got caught up uh, trying to edit um, the video for the Vipingo race, and I ran out of daylight. So we're going to try and do this a bit differently. And also doing it this way will help me show you some stuff on the computer. So I, I won't have to add them later uh, in the edit. I normally don't like editing. It takes so much time for me at least. So um, I'd rather, I always like doing one takes and I'm new to this, so it's a bit difficult, but I'm going to try and get the hang of it. Anyway, it's uh, rest day three, Monday. Uh, we've had uh, three uh, training weeks. Uh, training week four starts tomorrow. Uh, this video, I'm going to do it in the reverse order of what I normally do. So we'll start with the fundraiser update. Then we'll go to the travel update. And then we'll finish off with the, the, the training update. So yeah, fundraiser update, travel update, and then training update. So on the fundraising front, there's not much to say. Uh, as I mentioned in uh, our last, um, in the last uh, update video, we pretty much hit 100%. Um, so... We are good on that. Again, I really want to thank everyone uh, for reaching out um, and assisting. I don't take this for granted. Um, I really appreciate. Um, and uh, together, uh, we are going to make uh, this thing uh, come, come true. Again, on a daily basis, I get uh, messages from other people just encouraging me and, you know, um, uh, giving me like positive, um, you know, words. Um, and I want to thank you guys also uh, for, for that. Uh, the training uh, is actually quite um, strenuous, I would say, uh, because I try to ride every single day. And sometimes uh, when you reach out, uh, it makes, it reminds me of why I'm doing this, you know, like it's for the passion and also because you're out there, you're supporting me. So that really goes a long way. So that's, that's, that's pretty much for the training update. Here is the site for the M Changa. Uh, that's the link up there. The link is in the description. As I said in my last video, there are those guys who had pledged um, and uh, maybe you still want to support. Just follow the, the link. And uh, if you scroll down here, uh, you have your options of how you want to send. You can either use M-Pesa, Airtel, Equitel, Visa, or PayPal. And this is how much we have raised, guys. 255000 plus uh, money that has been sent directly to me. I would say we are at about almost 280 or 290k. And that's from, if I include the people who send directly, maybe about 10 guys, so 35 supporters. So thank you very much, guys. I really appreciate. And without your help, this dream would never, never have come through. Again, as I mentioned in the last, um, in the last, um, update the link i'll leave the link you can see it's written here 62 days left because i have i'd set it to close uh i think just before the event if i'm not wrong so i'll leave it open guys if you want to send me um because you had pledged well and good um feel free so that's the, the update for the fundraiser. So number two is the travel update. 
So on the travel front, um, there's not really much to, uh, to, 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 to update. I'm getting my paperwork done for the visa interview. The visa interview is in the middle of September. So I'm trying to get um, all the required paperwork done. It's quite laborious, but um, I guess we, these are the hoops we have to jump through to, to get visas. Again, I reached out to the Federation to see if they can help me with a letter from the Federation uh, stating that you know I'm going to represent the country. It, it normally makes the visa process a bit easier. But uh, unfortunately, um, it's proving to be a bit difficult uh, to get the federation to assist with this. We are still trying. I'm still trying through my contacts, through Carol Butura. Thank you so much, Carol, uh, for all the effort um, you've put in and through other, other sources. Uh, I, because I think with this letter, um, it, it, it might make it a bit easier uh, to get to get the, the visa. Anyway, let's see how that goes. So that's pretty much the update for for travel. Um, so number three, uh, the training updates. Quite a bit that we're going to cover today. So on the training front, uh, let's see, let's see what we have here. Here we go, photos. So here we go. You can see there. So we started first week. That's the load. Second week, 392. First week was 267. Second week was 392. And last week was 769. So we are increasing the volume quite substantially. A lot of this is zone, zone two work. So last week, because I knew I was going to be driving down to the coast, I did uh, an extra long ride. Uh, that's why you've seen that jump up like that. And if I add here, this is how the body is feeling. So first week, our fatigue was at 31, fitness 52, form 17. When the form is positive, that means you can really go out there and you know either perform or something. So after one week, our fitness increased only by two. Fatigue went up almost double. You can see the form has dropped. Week three, which was the last week, uh, Training week three, which was the last week, ended on uh, ended on uh, yesterday. Excuse me. You can see the fatigue has has increased even more. Fitness has really gone up, but our form is down. So fitness has really gone up because we have done we did a race and we did a recovery right after that. So that's why I think the fitness has gone up. So when your body is in this with these numbers. Yes, you do have the fitness, but because your form is so poor, if you went like for an event, you wouldn't perform very well because the body has a lot of fatigue. So yeah, so pretty much that's how we are looking at. That's how we are looking at the moment. Um, here we go. Give me a, a minute. Give me a minute here. <clears throat> this is our training log. So August 5th to 11th, this was our first training week, 162 kilometers. August 12th to 18th, uh, our second training week, 275 kilometers. And last week, our third training week, 364 kilometers. So as I told you, I did a big one here, 144 and then followed up with some smaller ones. The race was actually long, so that also added up, and I did a recovery ride um, yesterday of 50 kilometers. 
So in terms of training, the volume, that's, that's, that's how it looks. Um, so the focus is still zone two. I'll discuss that in a bit. The focus is still zone two. Although this week I'm going to do um, two structured uh, sets, see how that goes. Um, the body so far is feeling good. The fatigue is there, but it's not, it's not bad. It's somehow uh, the body is adjusting to, to the increased um, uh, activity level. So on Saturday, as I told you guys, uh, I put an update both on Facebook and on my uh, YouTube shorts. I made it down to the coast at Bingo. We had a race. Um, here we go. That was the loop uh, gravel 120 um, race. So they, they call it 120 because it's supposed to be 120 kilometers, but it ended up being 128. And that extra bit, believe me, is a lot. So anyway, that was the race, 128 kilometers. Six hours, 51 minutes moving time. Total elapsed time was about seven hours and some change. Elevation, 2,400 meters. Guys, it was a tough race. Uh, I would say up till about 100 kilometers, I, I pushed, but the, the last 30 kilometers, I really died. And that's where, again, zone two training comes in. Because in zone two, you are using more of like your fat stores, you're burning your fat and not uh, just uh, like glycogen. I hope I'm getting that right. So um, I need to get my body used to burning fat longer uh, and more efficiently, efficient, efficiently. So you can see my weighted average for the seven hours was about 196. And we want to try and get this like above two, 200 watts. So that's what I can say about the race. This was the course and this was the elevation. So I'm going to, this elevation, have a look at it. We're just going to look at the elevation of the worlds, the one that I'm actually going to race. And it almost looks similar. It's less elevation gain, but almost looks similar. So give me a minute. So as I said, I think we are on the right track. Um, I'm going to, again, after how I felt uh, on Saturday, um, I, I still need to concentrate on zone two because there's no point of me like trying to work on power, like seven, trying to hold 400 watts, 500 watts for, for 10 minutes, but I can't hold 200 watts for three hours, you see. And holding watts, 200 watts for three hours, you are using your zone two endurance and not like your fast twitch uh, strength muscles. So again, I mean, I'm not a coach by any stretch of imagination. Everything uh, I know about coaching is just things I've just read. But to me, it still sounds like I just need to concentrate on zone two. And as long as I, I get my zone two like power up, I should be good. So yeah, so I'll do two. So going forward, as I said, every week I'll do two structured sets uh, and include like some lactate la la thresholds uh, and the likes like that. But I still believe I just need to work on zone two. Um, so on Sunday, then yesterday, I did a, a lovely recovery ride in Voy. Voy is on the way back. For those guys who are watching me from, from somewhere else and not Kenya, Voy is on the way back um, to Nairobi from Mombasa. There's this hill that I've always had, a, it's always been on my list to do, but um, the schedule has never really worked. This time round, somehow, uh, everything fell into place. 
perfect recovery rides. Beautiful climb. Beautiful climb. And I think it's even more beautiful when uh, it has rained. Yeah, let me show you the... Um, let me show you... Let me show you that ride. So the hill is called Sagala. It's right next to Voi. And... Um, and... Um, beautiful 10 kilometer climb that climb you see there that's a 10.7 kilometer climb until until actually it can even be longer but for segment purposes i think it's cut over there and i think when it has rained it, it's even more lovely so my plan is to go back sometime um maybe towards the end of the year when the short rains have come I think I'm gonna, I think I'll, I'll have fun. So if uh, those watching here who, if you ever, if you feel like this is the kind of ride you wanna do, let me know. And when I make my plans to go, uh, we can go together. So the plan is like on a Friday to catch the SGR down to Voi. Uh, the SGR is right next to like hotels and stuff. So get off the SGR, ride to the hotel, spend the night, Ride Saturday, Sunday, catch the SGR back to, to, to Nairobi. And I think that can be a perfect weekend plan. Anyway, yeah, if it's a longer weekend, you can even include some rides to Taita. Taita is not too far from here. Ta oh, yeah, let me show you. Taita is right here. So, and Voy is right here. But beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let me show you. So there's some wildfires down on the plains. Um, let's see. Yeah, my sorry, my internet is a bit slow. Yeah, they have so that ten kilometer climb has a lot of uh, cement sections because they're quite steep. There you go. Beautiful views all around. That's Voy Town. Yeah, uh, my internet is a bit slow, so sorry guys. Yeah, you can see how dry it is. So I'm sure like you get two, three weeks of rain, it will be lush green. And that just adds to the beauty of the place. Yeah. So when I looked up on Google, they were saying there's a severe fire around here. All right, guys. So sorry, we, we sort of like... Uh, digressed a bit now last thing just last thing this this is the actual uh gravel world championships course the the gpx is already out yeah so it's gonna be 135 kilometers and the elevation is going to be about 1,300. You know, when it comes to elevation, it depends. It's as accurate as the device that was used to, to measure it, yeah? So that 1,300, and then it depends also whether they process it using Strava data or not. But typically or generally, because the maps in Europe are more detailed than let's say for Africa, they are more or less quite accurate. Like the Strava data will be accurate. So if Strava tells you 1,991, it's probably spot on. But so I'm thinking it's going to be about, let's say at least 1,100, at most 1,400, yeah? And look what Strava says. Strava says you're going to take about six hours and 14 minutes. I don't know what it, it bases that on, whether it bases that on my data that it has for me or just like an average speed. I don't know what, what uses this, uh, how it determines this speed. Because, um, so, yeah. So that's about 20 something kilometers, oh, I think. Anyway, 
I'll work it out. So look at that, compare that to this. Let me move this to the side. And then we come here. Compare, compare those two. If I do this like this. Okay, doesn't look so good when I stretch it. Oh, there we go. Look, look at the, the, the profile. Yeah, not exactly the same, but almost similar. Yeah, so you just have a lot of like sharp um, uh, climbs, you know, jagged, jagged, jagged. So I don't like this kind of climbs. I prefer, I prefer this kind of climb. The one I showed you. Who is it? I prefer this kind of climb. Because what happens is, it's a, it's, it's, it's a gradual, like consistent grade. You set your power threshold in your legs, and then now, you just chant that minute after minute after minute after minute, you know? So it's easier than if you are trying to write something like this. Because when you try to write something like this, you are you're always power on, power off, power on, power off. And that's more tiring. So anyway, so those are the two profiles. These are the world's profile and this is the, the Vipingo uh, gravel race that we just did so that's uh, they are almost similar so um, this one uh, Strava says what 6 hours and 14 minutes uh, for 135 kilometers and uh, 1200 meter, 1300 meters climbing and here I took this was 128 6 hours 51 yeah, so, but there was more climbing. So if I remove maybe 500, if I remove a thousand meters from here, definitely this time will come down. So, so Strava is actually almost accurate. So that's, that, that's, I just wanted to sh sh share that with you guys. All right. So this was the race. What else do I want to say? So two things I want to point out. I want to point that out. Uh, and I want to show you this also. I'm done with the pingo. There we go. Uh, what else did I want to show you here? Okay, all well, this is closed. Closed. So I just wanted to mention that the Vipingo race was also the Kenyan National Gravel Championships of 2024. And depending on the age groups, I'm still waiting for the official results, but uh, hopefully in the 50 to 54 age group, hopefully I was by myself. Well, okay, competition is always good. I think Chad was there, but I didn't see Chad finish. So we might be just the national champions. You never know, guys. Yeah? So I'll update you on that. It's just the way we qualified for this UCI thing. You know, it was just out of the blue. And even this one, I went out there to represent Team Aria Solar Energy and to train. But in the process, you might just end up being the Kenya National Gravel champion 2024 for the age group 50 to 54 so let's see so i just want to share that with you and then these are the provisional results um they've not been released officially so you can see um i finished 25th out of about there were 33 finishers we started definitely more it must have been like about uh, let's say maybe 45, between 45 and 50. 
uh, who started and uh, there we go we finished in the 25th position okay guys so that's almost it um uh, let's see uh, so this sunday we have this huh where did i take that did i close it sorry sorry guys sorry guys um hold on just give me a second please where did I? oh it's gonna be desktop travel sorry guys sorry guys all right guys so on sunday this is what we are looking at it's at a place called the forest um it's a mtb tt uh the car it's 18 kilometers the the um the um the climbing is not much it's about six seven hundred meters the catch is it's at altitude meaning above sea level it's at 2500 meters so um, it really really like catches your your breath yeah it's you the last time I did I actually at some point in time at some point I felt I felt the, the the altitude get get to my head so that's what makes it very challenging and the last time I did it there we go 15 kilometers look at that one hour one and a half hours let me imagine just to do 15 kilometers one and a half hours let me just try and move this can close this now okay yeah can close this okay there we go okay there we go so yeah so um, look 162 watts of uh, estimated average power i didn't have a, a power meter then maybe i didn't so now I have a, a power meter. So let's see what we'll do. So I'm shooting for any time between one hour and 15 minutes to one hour, 20 minutes. If I cut off six minutes of my time, this was when in 2021, so three years ago. Yeah, I shouldn't. Uh, I mean, I'm old, so I can't expect to cut this down to 110 or something. I'm just trying to be very pragmatic here um or very realistic so if i do anything below 120 i'll be happy and then again considering that um i'm in the middle of my training volume so i'm not tapering so it would be interesting to see uh how much power i can hold uh for one hour and 26 minutes uh over here oh i didn't have a power meter so there's no point of even trying to look at the whatever but it's a, a it's a nice place and the forest look at that beautiful i hope it hasn't rained uh oops <laughs> yeah i hope it hasn't rained um it's been a bit dry so i don't think it, it it has rained so yeah so this is this coming sunday uh again on monday i'll do an update and let you know how it goes I really really want to see how much power i can hold i'm hoping um it, it, it will be i'm not gonna try and guess how much it's gonna be but i hope it will be more than 162 and the time i hope is gonna be about one hour and uh, 15 minutes if i hit anything between one hour 15 minutes one hour 20 i'm good okay guys so that's it for today it's uh rest day three again thank you very much for your support um all plans at the moment uh are coming along well uh training week four starts tomorrow uh i'll update you on the progress next monday thank you for your support again 
please uh, if you haven't hit the subscribe button on the channel it uh, helps make the channel more visible uh, share the video with someone who you think might be interested in this i know it's not much but uh, maybe there are people who will have also a project they want to train for and they can um, uh, have have a look uh, and once again thank you for your support i appreciate um, and as usual i say stay tuned and stay shady and have a good night thank you guys bye bye